Hello, I'm Will Sampson from FDMC Magazine and the Woodworking Network. We're in the shop today to talk about coping saws. Now, it's a simple little hand tool. Um, they're, it's a frame and a small blade. It's designed to cut on the pull stroke, and it's because of the small, narrow blade, it's very good for cutting curves and, as its name implies, for coping moldings. But it's a flat blade that cuts in just one direction. So when you're cutting it, you have, a, you have to turn it like this back and forth to get your angles and sometimes back it in and out of the cut and that sort of thing. So there's a different kind of a, a tack that's taken on it. Now with this coping saw, it's a freestyle coping saw from Best Way Products, and you'll notice that it has a thin wire blade with a spiral on it. Let me get a bigger one. This is the 28,000 size. I'll get a, a bigger one so you can see. These come in 50,000s, 40,000s, and 28,000s, and it's got spiral cutting edge all alongside here. And so you don't turn this one. It cuts 360 degrees. So you just, when you're cutting down, you just move it, which that takes a little getting used to. Let's see how it works. So I've got two moldings I want to cut, cope here. Mark my line. Okay. And Nice fine curve. Now the cut itself is seems a little kind of rough because of the the uh, uh, wire cut. It's not as smooth, but the cope is pretty good, and that's doing it pretty fast. But you can see it cut copes pretty well. So um, a lot of people use coping saws for other things besides. Just coping moldings, um, cutting out waste on hand cut dovetails and things like that. Any kind of cutting curves um, where you're not using it as a power saw. And it should be noted that this company that makes these spiral teeth blades, Best Way Products, um, they also uh, make uh, power versions. So you may find one that, that fits uh, other power tools that you use. Uh, as well as a hand coping saw. So something to check out. You can learn more uh, at uh, their website, which is uh, spiralsaw.com, and spiral is spelled S-P-Y-R-A-L, spiralsaw.com. That's what we got for today. Uh, if you're looking for more product reviews and the latest news on the woodworking industry, you can get it at our website, woodworkingnetwork.com. Thanks for watching.